Here's my PC stats. It's a gaming laptop. It's a Ryzen 7 8 core processor, RTX 2060 video card, 32 gigs of RAM, and a couple of SSD drives running Windows 10. Here's my graphic settings. You can pause the screen and take a look at them. All right, it is March 10th, 2023, and uh, Eagle Dynamics put out a multi-thread patch for DCS World, and people are reporting some crazy improvements in performance, in some cases up to double what their frame rates were before. And even in VR, I'm seeing solid 20 to 40, 50 frames per second pickups there. So I thought I would do some, some benchmarkings and almost like a reaction video. We'll see what it does on my system. So I can't join the service because I haven't actually updated my client yet. So this is unpatched. Let's just do a create a fast mission. We're going to go with the Black Shark 3. We'll just say USA. Airborne's fine. Let's do Syria. Let's do summer. Let's do cloudy. Let's do three in the afternoon. Okay. This will start us in the air on Syria, which is supposed to be a pretty beefy map. There's stuff flying around. And uh, we'll go for it here. For some reason, my voice wasn't recorded during this first section. Don't worry, it comes back in the later sections. Not sure why it vanished, but as you can see, my uh, frame rates are mostly averaging 55 to 60, and I, hit, I have some spikes up to 75, 80, and there's a few down to 40. I think I saw 35 at one point, but for the most part, just flying around offline in a mission, 55 to 60 is my frame rate. All right, we're back after the update. So everything's still running. I actually also have an addition of, I'm, I'm running a browser on my other monitor. And this is new, it says CPU bound rendering thread. Okay, interesting. Um, I haven't changed any of my graphic settings there. They're the same as in the uh, screen cap that I had up earlier. All right, so let's give this a try. We're gonna do the same thing we did last time. So we're gonna create a fast mission. Here we go. All right. Here we go. It looks like we're aiming right at a hill. We are aimed right at a hill. Warning. Under attack. 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 Warning. Under All right. Warning. Under attack. Warning. Under attack. Warning. So we're getting under attack. Warning. Uh, still in the 60s, under although this one up here Warning. is saying under the attack. GPU is cranking out Warning. well over 100. Warning. Under Our frame attack. time. That's new information, Warning. I think. Under attack. Warning. Under attack. Warning. I'm just firing off flares like crazy. So, according to the top, I am seeing better numbers, but not spectacular, right? 60s to 90s, about like before, with maybe a maybe a higher floor of 60 instead of dipping down in the 40s and 50s. I'm curious about this GPU bound. And it's like right now, it's 140 frames per second, so that's great. Um, I was seeing it down around, yeah, there, dipped down into 92. Let's look around some more. I'm not seeing like screen tearing or anything. It looks like. 
seems like maybe dipping down to into the 80s, which, yeah, is a lot better. Let's fly over to this little town and see if we notice any uh, frame dipping. Heck, let's bring up some weapons. Oops. Bro, I have for weapons. Oh, I got the, the gun pods. There's the 40s. But that new frame counter is 60s. Under attack. Warning. Under attack. Warning. Under attack. Warning. Under attack. Okay. So yeah, upper 90s. See if that helps. There's well over a hundred and a hundred and sixty. Go ahead and quit since uh, before I change any other settings, I'm going to hop on to uh, try to hop onto like uh, rotor heads or something real quick just as a uh, as and see how multiplayer counts work. You might have heard my uh, SRS radio ding over there. Like I said, I'm running all the stuff I normally do. All right, let's go to Bravo. Let's find a K53. Let's take 107. That's kind of my favorite. And we will uh, join here. Definitely choppy. That's weird. Okay, it's smoothing out a little bit there. It's probably just loading stuff. Old, the old meter there is kind of back to its old self. There was a dip to 13, bouncing all over the place between 40 and 60. And the new meter isn't giving me numbers. There we go, 60 to 70. I do know I ran this counter once before on a rudder head, and the old one was giving me like 30 to 40. So I've definitely got a lot of improvement. It looks like it's running smoothly now. Let's go outside. Yeah, because we've got a couple of Blackhawks sitting over there, or a couple of Apaches running, and a hind in front of us. There's a hind flying, two hinds flying. So yeah, we've got quite a bit of activity going on right around us here. So old counter, looks like it's kind of staying 70s to 103, 105. Yeah, this is staying 60 to 80. I do have a little stuttering as I turn my head. It's interesting that this is freaking out, where it's not giving me a steady number. But it definitely looks like it is giving a big, a big increase. We got the uh, VRs working. 
and we are getting 14 frames per second. Twenty twenty one. It's still kind of slideshow for me in reality here. Look at all the stuff going on out there, though. Let's uh, auto hover here. There we go. So the old counter is showing 14. The new counter is bouncing around 100, which, like I said, I don't know if you can see it, but when I turn my head, you can see that I don't have a full 360 degree sphere around me. I have like a, a large window, like a very wide field of view window, and it's dragging around. So my actual perception is basically the same as it was pre-patch. It is running under Steam VR, which I know is a resource hog. And I did see some things today, I think at Reddit or in one of the uh, multiplayer server discords that they're, they've made the open VR drivers like the default now. And there's like some command line tags you can put on it. So I will try those over the weekend and I will update the video uh, for when it goes live. But hopefully OpenXR will run better because I mean this, it still really isn't playable. It's very... I have to move very slowly or the, the screen gets behind my vision, which is very disorientated. So a little disappointed there that while it looks like I've got a lot more frames per second, the playability has not improved. Let me know how your system is running in, in the comments below. If you're seeing good frame rates, tell me what sort of hardware you're running on. Mine, I like to think, is kind of middle of the range. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.